Hello, and welcome to the third episode of Stay Tuned with D-Ray. Our first guests today are the freshman class. In recent years, the freshman classes at Villanova have been young men who have upheld tradition better than anybody has. And I don't think this class would disappoint. Please help me welcome Brandon Slater, Cole Swider, and Javon Quinterly. Thank you for having us. Of course, of course, of course, man. So we just gonna get right into it. You know, y'all first guest today. Um, I have to ask y'all, you know, from we were talking about it before the show started, all three of y'all have played with each other or against each other at some point in high school. Uh, what made y'all just, you know, one by one going down the line, what made y'all choose Villanova? All right, so I'll start with um, you, Brandon. When I first started getting all into the uh, the college scene and like seeing that colleges started like wanting to recruit me and stuff, uh, mm-hmm. you guys actually won the uh, national championship. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was crazy. Like a month after that, Coach Wright calls me. He's mm-hmm. like, blah blah blah. Like we're recruiting you and, and we think you're a really good player. I'm like, you guys just won the national championship. <laughs> we need good. We got to have good players yeah, to keep it going, man. That's how it works. I did not think about it like that. So like after that, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's like a real big school. Mm-hmm. They just won. They want me. My mom loves Coach Wright. Mm-hmm. My mom loves the coaching staff, and then like that just sold me. It was simple. I like that, Cole. Yeah, like same with Brandon. Like uh, Villanova started recruiting me after you guys won the national championship, and and that kind of after 1985, you guys went on like, a little. Uh, a little drought for national championships. Then mm-hmm. you guys came back, you, yourself, your class, and you guys brought it back to where it is now and mm-hmm. kind of set, set this run. Um, and I just, I just wanted to be a part of that. Coach Wright uh, all pitched, pitched uh, like made all three of us feel like priorities. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why all three of us wanted to come here, play together, and then play for a storied program that, that you helped build and, and and where it is now, so I think it was an easy decision. Thank you, man, thank you. Y'all, y'all got your head on y'all shoulders right, JQ. <laughs> well, Nova's been recruiting me since like my sophomore year. Mm-hmm. So just having about three years of relationships with either Baker Dunleavy, yeah. Ashley Howard, Jay Wright, just having those relationships really and just seeing the culture here, the culture's very different. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of schools that don't have what we have here, so just those two things kind of sold me, and then being close to home, two hours away, so that, that that also helped. Of course, of course. I mean, I'm from Philly. I went to Nova, so I understand being close to home does help. Speaking of being close to home, I'm hearing, you know, different accents between the three of y'all, so we're going to start with JQ and just come back down. Can y'all tell us where y'all from? I'm from New Jersey, Hackensack, New Jersey. I'm from uh, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Uh, Centerville, Virginia, right uh, underneath D.C. Okay, okay. All right, so, you know, kind of kind of scattered out, but all y'all are somewhat close, you know, probably a five-hour, six-hour drive at the most to get back home. That's a short flight. So y'all made the right decision. Like, you know, to be honest, you know, after going through the college process, I couldn't imagine being on the West Coast, something like that. I mean, you can make it, but it's a lot easier when you have that support system and you have your people at home. So I have to ask, you know, y'all, y'all seem like y'all close. Y'all seem to have good chemistry. I've actually sat in on a few practices and watched y'all um, off the court stuff. You know, what, what did y'all click on? What did y'all feel as though y'all had in common as soon as y'all got here? Because y'all had to, it had to be something. If it's nothing, I'm shocked. There's always something people find out that y'all have in common amongst your class. Yeah, for, for us, I, I felt like we all started like playing, like we all play basketball a certain way. We all, we all play hard. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that helped us connect off the court as well. Like me and JQ met for the first time. NBA players, uh, uh, NBA players camp, mm-hmm. and we clicked right away because we both respected each other, respected the way each other played. Mm-hmm. And then Brandon, I always respected how hard he's played. I, I, th- I feel like that mutual respect for one another yeah. has helped us create a relationship and a bond that will help us on on the court and then off the court as well. Yeah, Y'all are mature as ever. I Go ahead. Cold on everything you just said. Y'all are mature as ever. Yeah. I was expecting, you know. Video games, interesting women, <laughs> I mean, they snacks don't and chips. Games. I'll be on Fortnite. You be on Fortnite heavy. Yeah, All right, I expected right. something of that yeah. type of nature. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah, Y'all oh. are mature as ever. <laughs> All right, well, fellas, we're going to take a quick break. We're here with the class of 2022, and uh, stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Stay Tuned with D-Ray. We're here with the class of 2022. So, fellas, we took a quick break. We're just going to hop right into it. Uh, I have to ask, you know, y'all been on campus almost two months this summer, uh, you know, for the summer sessions that every freshman goes through. And, you know, obviously we all have our different challenges and things like that. So just going down the line once again, what did y'all find, you know, to be the biggest learning curve when you first got on the court 
with guys who have been in college two, three years, you know, already. Um, so the the definition of like playing tough. Mm -hmm. So so when you're in high school, you can probably take two plays off and mm -hmm. then still be like the toughest guy on the floor. Yeah, or still yeah. or still make a play that's crazy. Mm -hmm. In college, everybody's like that. So you have to bring it even more. So like that was probably like the biggest thing. Like when I first came out, I was like, oh my gosh, like, like it's another level. Yeah, uh -huh. it's another level. Okay, okay, Cole. Yeah, for me, offense has always been like a like a strength for me. So mm -hmm. defensively, you know, you know how Coach Ray is defensively and, mm -hmm. and, and how serious and different the techniques are. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, that's been the biggest adjustment, just working on it every single day, trying to get better. And and because I know offensively, it will take care of itself as long as we defend the rebound. Of course, so. of course. I think my biggest thing's been uh, the defensive techniques, mm -hmm. just being able to defend, being able to hold your ground. And then really the pace, everything's just faster. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that 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 sounds about right. Like I said, you all have it. it sounds what y'all described. You know, three individually. That's like it sums it up for everybody's total. You know, freshman thing. So it's good. It's kind of spread out across the board. Cause like I'll tell you, you know, for me it was like all three of them. It's like this is way harder. Everybody's moving way faster, and defense is, is really it takes on a different level. You know, you. In high school, you could be the best defensive player. And like you said, take a playoff. You, you don't have to play as tough. You don't have to worry about his technique as much. And then you get here, it's just like, no, if you don't slide the right way or if you're not in the right stance, you know, you're, you're getting got. So, like I said, y'all y'all, y'all, a smart group. Y'all got y'all head on y'all shoulders, right? <laughs> the fact that y'all see that now shows a lot of maturity in y'all. Um, I have to ask, you know, obviously, like I said, over recent years, we've had different freshman classes, you know, some smaller, some bigger, you know, and you have all different types of, of avenues that they take. But I have to ask, what are y'all predictions for y'all class? Because out there, you know, y'all y'all are one of the more exciting classes in recent history. Y'all are three very big names in the high school basketball world and now in the college basketball world. So I have to ask y'all just down the line, starting with JQ, what do you, you know, Actually, let me stay away from predict. What do you, you wish for and hope for and going to work for for your class? Um, I mean, I wish – I'm wishing to be the best player I could be, mm -hmm. developed into being, you know, the best player I could be. And mm -hmm. really just – I want to win a national championship. I mean, I've seen the rings. <laughs> I've seen the rings right in front of me. So, of course, that's something I want to do. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, all that comes with hard work mm -hmm. and all that comes with – you know, chemistry and just everyone coming together as a team and playing playing as one. Good ass. Cole? Yeah, like as you said, like uh all three of us had great high school careers mm -hmm. and we and besides that, like we, we haven't like really done anything here, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think every single day if we come in with a attitude to get better and, and kinda of prove ourselves like we did in high school, you know what I mean? I think everything will work itself out. Obviously winning a national championship and everything like that is it's great, but if we can get as good as we can and, and work as hard as we can, then I think the results will take care of itself. Mm -hmm. uh, me, just like how they say, just get better every day. But like, I just want to like make my teammates proud, mm -hmm. make my parents proud, make sure the coaches like know like they made the right decision. Like you don't want you don't want to go out and coaches be like. Maybe we shouldn't have had him. Nah, nah, yeah, they, so. never, they they wouldn't have. Listen, it, you know the good thing about this program is. Everything they do is very strategic. They wouldn't have brought y'all in here if they thought y'all wouldn't have even played, fit, or, you know, and thrived in this system. You know, Coach Wright doesn't recruit a player just because we need somebody or just to fill it. No, everybody he recruits, there's a plan for, you know. Everybody has a different plan, but there's a plan for. And like I said, I've watched y'all play already. I've seen all three of y'all play. I've sat in on several practices. And I can already see y'all get it. Y'all understand it. And y'all, you don't understand half the battle. Um, and I can speak to this from some of my old heads that taught me this half of the battle is wanting to do that. Y'all want to feed in. Y'all not coming in here saying, you know, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to be that, or holding on to what y'all had in high school when I was this in high school, so I'm going to be this in college. Like, all three of y'all seem to have the willingness and the need and the want to just be like, you know what, this is what we're doing. I want to be a part of this. And that selflessness, that's, that's half the battle. Because once y'all have that, which y'all already do, it just takes off for y'all. Just real quick, last question. Y'all took two classes over the over the summer session. What was your favorite class? Oh, uh, film analysis. Favorite class? Uh, it's got to be film analysis with my man Hesse. Favorite class? Film analysis. These are some very smart young men right here. They all chose the class of the director of film analysis. That's not a slight to anybody else's class. We're here with the class of 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, and thank you all for being on Stay Tuned with D-Rack. Thank you. Thank you.
talking about something right now. The camera's rolling on some full house type. It's just going, looking like we having a real good moment and whatnot. We really just talking about nothing.